All right, today's riff tutorial is Spearmint Revolt by Norma Jean. The tuning for the guitar is Drop G Sharp. Um, pretty much all you need for this song is a super heavy tone and uh, and a bit of rhythm and some luck trying to get the timing down. So it's been quite a while since I learned this song. We'll struggle through it together. Um, so the beginning riff uh, is sort of bouncing off octaves up on the 12th fret, so let's give it a quick listen. So the first phrase, um, you're starting with open on, I guess I'll, I'll just, instead of naming the strings, I'll just go 6 to 1, so it'd be 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and so on the 6th string, um, we're bounced between the 12th and 10th fret, uh, starting with open strings, so... So it's open, open, 12, 10, and then uh, up to 13. So that's the first phrase. So that whole first part, again, starting on the 12th fret, so, uh, so that riff, um, you're bouncing off the 13th fret on the 4th string, as well as the 12th on the 6th string, so. So 13, that's the, that's the riff there. So on the last time that you do it, you bounced off and you land on the 10th fret instead of on the 12th. So I'll just play from the beginning, slow down again. That's the whole, pretty much, first intro riff, and then you land from that 10th fret, you drop down to 4th fret. So you go 4, 8, 7, and then you go 4, 7. So, land on the That's that whole first intro riff. Um, then it goes into the next part, uh, which is kind of the higher open, so you play on the open string, uh, the open third string, and then seventh fret, seventh fret on the third string. So we'll just uh, run this one. So that riff, you're playing again 7th fret and open at the same time. And you go between 7th and 5th, so... And then you slide it up to 10th to 7th. That's how I play it anyway. So 7th, between 7 and 5. Between 7 and 5 then 10 to 7, and then 12 to 7. So then, and then the second time you walk it down, 7 to 5, 5 to 3, and then you do a little hammer pull on 3 to 2. So 
So the next part after that um, is you just go open to one. <laughs> So it's open to one, and then you go eight to seven. So we'll play it all together again here quick. So same thing, you do it twice, but on the second part of that, so you've done your... Uh, so you go back to the riff, uh, essentially just a, kind of a rip off of that first riff. Uh, notes so that's 13 again on the third string and then you hit it with the 12 on the uh, top string but this time you land on the 11 on the top string that's that main riff and then it drops uh, into the chorus So that main chorus riff, um, you're going from just uh, picking the 12th, down to 11th, down to 8th, and then down to 3rd, up to 6th, then you go to open strings, and you do a sort of a double stop on the uh, 15th fret. So 15th. And then you, um, we're doing uh, some octaves. So this is on the fifth string, um, as well as the third string. So playing that on the um, 18th fret and the 20th fret, and then sliding it down to the 17th and 19th. Then you land down on the sixth fret. So again, that whole piece together is. Sorry, we'll do that again. Then it repeats, so of course again, I'll just play through here. Oh, sorry, I completely skipped a part. Um, so the pre-chorus. So this little pre-chorus part, um, just a bunch of low notes, so, sorry, coming back out of that. So you play. Something like that, uh, it's kind of the same phrasing repeated twice but the first part is you're just riffing on the open string give it one hit on the third fret and then you're bouncing between the 15th and the 12th fret then the next time you're going 15, 13, 12 on the 5th string, and then again, but then this time you land on the 1st fret, and then again 8th to 7th, so throw back to the 
the other way. And again, you bounce to the 13, Then you go into the chorus, which we've already covered. So after that chorus, um, go back into that main uh, intro riff, but it's actually a little bit different the second time that you play it now. So we go. So this time instead of uh, bouncing to the open, you hold hold the twelfth fret. So. And you hold the 12th, go to open, and then up to 15th and 12th. So 15 to 12, and then now you're going 8 to 7. And you're doing uh, so, uh, just a big greasy bend, so that's all on the 10th fret with the three strings here. So yeah, you land on the bed, and then just go back to the roof. So you land this time, now you're landing on the 6th fret. So it's just 6, 5, and then down to 2. And then you come out to this, uh, this next part, which is just the tapping. So let's just do it quick. So I play, play open, open 12 open, and then now we're just tapping. Um, this is 18th. To open to 15 to 17. And then you do that on these two strings. And then you hit it with that, again, that same octave that you're playing with the 18 and 20 from before. So yeah, the first time, played, and then hit with a pick sweep, and then come in again with with the same tapping. But then you hold it and you wait, and it sends. And the next time, instead of going open twelve open, you go you go twelve open. So 
So you go 12, open, open. And then after the tapping, you bring it down with it, bit the side down again. So again, first time. And the second time, the tapping comes in right away. And you just land on the... So there it is, Norma Jean, Spearmint Revolt. <laughs>